Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Today I'm going to show you how Stitcher Packs are made. Stitcher Pack is one of the most popular packaging formats, and Dismakers, in my opinion, makes the best Stitcher Packs on the planet. This is a sample. You know what a Stitcher Pack is? It's a board product. We use recycled board. It has a plastic tray that glues in, and then the disc is inserted into the tray, and it makes a beautiful finished product. So this maker, to my knowledge, is the only manufacturer in the country that actually does the printing and manufacturing of Digipacks and also does the manufacturing of the disc. So let's take a quick look how Digipacks are made. It starts on a printing press. So let's go. Take a look. So this is our Komori press. And you can see there's a printing plate. We take printing plates in four colors. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So blue, red, yellow, black. And those four colors are layered on top of each other to provide this full color look. So we can see yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. The white sheets are fed through the printing press. As you show here, you can see the coating through. There are rollers that apply the ink to the sheets. So as we go through the press, it gradually goes from a one to a two to a three to a full color job. And finished sheets come off the press. So, so what you get then is a sheet and to officially use the sheet, we print multiple projects on the same sheet. So once the sheet is printed, we apply a UV coating. So we're going to walk over there right now and come with you. Okay, so here we are at the Tracer UV coater. We put two kinds of coating on, either a high gloss or a matte finish. And so this is an uncoated sheet. And the uncoated sheet gets loaded in to the machine, and then as it goes through the machine, there is a drum that applies the high gloss UV coating at the end. And so, if you look at the end, we have sheets that are beautifully glossy. We also have a sample here from the previous project that has a matte coating. And the matte coating, if you come in closer, it's a really nice kind of premium look that a lot of our clients prefer. There's no extra charge. We're the only printer, I think, that does UV and matte coating at no extra charge. So after we have our coating on, we have to cut the sheet to get the DigiPax assembled. Let's okay, so this is our camera die cutter. So we start with the sheets, which are all staged here. And then there's a die that cuts each sheet. I'll show you the die. This is a die. These are all blades that cut the paper. So as the paper is fed through, the die cuts the sheet at a time. If you come up here, you can see it. So those sheets are all cut already. The content just has to be stripped out, which is done over here. Okay, so you saw the die cutting, and here are the sheets. You come a little closer. You can see this is the tape. It's been cut. This is a digipack. The tray will get glued in here, and eventually it'll be a beautiful digipack. So when we have a stack of sheets, our man Brian here will hammer them, and he will basically rip them out, and they'll go over to a folder gluer, which is the last part of the printing and finishing process. All right, so when we have our die cut sheets, we need to fold and glue them. That's done over here on the box fold and glue. Sheets are loaded in. Head through. Glue is sprayed onto the board. They're folded. And they go through the pressure tunnel to make sure that the glue adheres. And then we end up with a beautifully folded and glued digipack. 
the next step is applying the tray, and we're going to do that in our packaging department where the disc is also inserted and it's poly wrapped. Let's go. We're in our packaging department. It's a little loud here. Um, this is the last step of the DigiPack assembly process. We're going to basically take the board product that you just saw printed, we're going to glue in the tray, we're going to stick in the disc, and then it's going to feed right into the shrink wrapping machine for a finished DigiPack. So let's take a look at how that's done. The board product is loaded into the GEMA machine, it's called a GEMA. Let's see how it's done here. It pulls one copy at a time, and if you come around the machine, we can see that the tray is glued in, go a little closer. The tray is glued in over there, and then the disc is dropped into the tray. The pack is closed automatically by the machine, and then it feeds right into the shrink wrap. Shrink wrap discs come out, and they're inserted into the carton. And there we go. High quality, finished digit packs, done at this makers, faster than anywhere else, just for you. See you next time.